This commenter asked and I listened. So today we'll be taking a look at five of the hottest armor mods on the Morrowind Nexus so that your next set of attribute points can go into fashion. The first set of armor we'll be taking a look at today is the Hammerfell and Say Warrior armor by the dynamic duo Ruffin Vanguard and Katia Carell, who once again deliver us not only an incredible set of armor, but a new dungeon and quest as well. To start your journey for this incredible set of armor, you'll first need to find a shipwreck off the coast of Aldvalothi. Once you've done so, you will find a washed up skeleton and a mysterious amulet. And if you know anything about mysterious amulets in Morrowind, well, then I'm sure you can predict what will happen when you put it on. Where am I? Where's Reznov? After donning the amulet, you'll find yourself in a completely new play space stylized to match the aesthetics of Hammerfell's Yakudin culture. And not only is this a new play space, but it is complete with unique assets and enemies as well, adding to the depth of what one would immediately assume is just another armor mod. Now, once you reach the end of this dungeon, you will have to test your might against a powerful and say sword singer to prove that you are worthy to don their heraldry as well. And after doing so, I'm sure that you will be delighted with what you find. Ruffin and Katya really capture the exotic nature of the sword singers here, working in some design elements you won't find anywhere in the base game, and in my opinion, doing this culture's style of armor head and shoulders better than the Yakutan armor we see in ESO, which is kind of just copy and pasted generic fantasy. I don't know, maybe a controversial take. Let me know in the comments. But all in all, this is an incredible mod that you will want in your load order the next time you roll a Red Guard character. Moving on to the second armor in our list, we have another lore friendly and lore expanding addition, PD Boy's House Dagoth Bone Mold Armor. Now, immediately, I love how seamlessly this armor fits into Morrowind's world and will definitely make your next six health sympathizer look as loyal as they feel. To find this armor, you'll first have to set out and do a bit of adventuring as there is only one piece available at a select handful of six health bases that will be spread across Morrowind. However, this does give you a valid reason outside of our main quest shenanigans in order to investigate them all and investigate them all thoroughly because, I mean, just look at this armor. It looks freaking great. Of course, you can always open the ESP file and pull the item names out of this particular list if you do want to console command them into your inventory, have them a little bit quicker. But either way, once you have your hands on this armor, you will immediately notice how close it is to the typical guard's bone mold armor. And in actuality, that is entirely intentional. And one of the reasons that I think this mod is so freaking cool. You see, the point of this mod is not to be armor for the sleepers rummaging around in the six house shrines themselves, but is actually meant to be the leftover guard armor from the former Great House Dagoth prior to its eventual collapse after the War of the First Council. So not only does this armor look great and give you a reason to rerun some of Morrowind's most classic dungeons, but it will even put a couple of extra inches on your lore beard. And if you've, you know, hanging out in any of the Morrowind forums or subreddits, well, having a leg up in a lore discussion certainly never hurts. Third on our list of today's armors is actually a found file mod, Dracus's Durzog armor, saved from the death of Morrowind modding history by the uploader JaberXD. Now, why do I love Dracus's Durzog armor so much? Well, it's easy. It's badass. I mean, look at that. That is a mean green fight machine. You see that in a dark alley, you're running the other way. Now, much like the Hammerfell armor that we looked at earlier in the video, Dracus's Durzog armor also does a couple of extra things outside of just adding new armor into the game. First, we get a new smith out in Dagenfell that sells all types of organic armor and a merchant in Tribunal that you can buy Durzog armor from for the low price of 2,000 gold. But in order to get this armor, you will have to come up with five Durzog hides, give it to the merchant, wait a week ominously in the wings as you stare at him while he works in typical Morrowind fashion, before collecting your armor for 25,000 gold. So this is pretty expensive, but for the looks that you get, well, I can't complain too much. Now, I really like the design of this armor. I think it pairs really well with a massive battle axe and a thirst for blood, and finally gives players 
an intimidating option for organic armor. Outside of bone mold, all the other non-metal options are either light or not very frightening. So queuing up Dracus's Durzog armor for your next backwoods barbarian heavy armor character will be the perfect fit. Oh, and there's variants for each sex as well as an open helmet version as well for those Argonian players. Fourth on our list, we have the Black Glass Armor set by Kallion, again uploaded by JabberXD. To get this armor, you need to head out into the wastes of Vardenfell to the Ghost Fence and find our traditional glass armor merchant, Dronos Lairvu. Once there, you will need to break out what I assume is an in-game pocketbook or, well, one enhanced by alchemy to purchase this diabolical-looking set of late-game light armor. Now, this armor comes with two different helmet options to fit your own personal taste, but my favorite way to wear this is actually without a helmet. Colors, the strange glow that it kind of gives off, it is perfect for a necromancer or dark sorcerer kind of character, which pairs up wonderfully with it remaining as light armor like our traditional glass set. I really love how just a simple upscale and palette shift can totally change the character of a traditional set of armor. And I would honestly love to see more reimaginings like this out on the Nexus. As a former MMO grinder, one of my favorite things to do in video games is get my character to look just right via transmogging, dyes, etc. So even a armor mod like this, again, that just reimagines something that already exists in the game gets me excited, and I would love to see more of that from the community. So if you want to take your next light armor character to the dark side, then go ahead and grab the black glass armor set. Now to close out the video, we have to end with a bang, right? End with something big, something inspiring, something that will stick with you until the end of your next journey. Or we can say, screw that, let's go have some fun. And ladies and gentlemen, we're gonna do that instead. So for our final mod today, we are looking at the Sujama Helmet by Notable Scroll Zero, an absolutely beautiful, dare I say, iconic item your next character won't want to miss. Now to find what the Morrowind community will likely consider a holy artifact, hop on a Siltstrider and head to Surin. And behind, yes, behind, not inside the House of Earthly Delights, let's have some self-control here, you will find a barrel with the item inside. Now, as one would expect, equipping and using the Sujama helmet will apply the typical Sujama buff, fortifying your strength by 50 points and decreasing your intelligence by 50 points. Now, the only downside to using the helmet instead of the more traditional Sujama chugging approach is that despite activating the helmet multiple times, it will only apply this strength buff once. However, who doesn't want a free Sujama at their fingertips? I, I don't think I've ever met a Morrowind player that would say no to that. And just look at it. I mean, come on. So the next time you load up Morrowind and want a drunken street brawler character or simply just a warrior with a repeatable artifact who has an eye for the finer things in life, go ahead and pick up the Sujama helmet so you can bring the party with you wherever you go. And with the Sujama helmet wrapped up, ladies and gentlemen, that will do it for me here today. I hope you enjoyed this format as much as the other commenter did. And if you want to see this style take on other categories of mods, be sure to let me know your thoughts down below. Quick reminder to like and subscribe if you want to see more content from yours truly. And a friendly reminder that more Let's Play style content now lives on the second channel linked below in the description. Thank you so much for watching. And as always, I will catch you on the next one.